Hey, this is Zira at Reviews on HD, continuing race week with a review for Wipeout HD. Now, this is going to be the eighth title in the Wipeout series. It was released in September of 2008. It's based off a couple portable games in Wipeout Pulse and Wipeout Pure. I actually never knew this game was modeled after a couple handheld games. You certainly can't tell from the extremely nice looking graphics, large, well designed tracks, and addictive gameplay. Now the HD and Fury bundle offers 16 tracks to race on, all of which can be played in reverse as well, and the game offers several modes to play in its career mode, such as tournaments, eliminators, time trials, and more. The bundle has received a Metacritic score of 87 out of 100, which is one of the highest rated racing games for the PS3. Let's go ahead and get into the review. Now this game's actually aged pretty well. Even in today's market of racers, it's still one of the best looking games around because of its use of bright colors, crisp detail, lighting effects, and track design. The sense of speed in the first half of the single player campaign is reasonable, with the last half cranking it up to some pretty crazy out of control speeds, and the game runs in a very stunning 60 frames per second in 1080p without any graphical or frame rate issues. The game also features a photo mode to snap pictures if you want to create a new background for your PlayStation 3 dashboard. The soundtrack features a mix of techno, dubstep, and bass and drum beats, which although it's not my preferred taste and what I generally listen to, it was still extremely enjoyable on this title, but if you don't like the music, it does give you the very awesome option to use the music off your own PlayStation 3 hard drive. The sound effects weren't anything special on here, but the overall presentation for everything else more than makes up for dull sound effects. The game difficulty is really the only downside to this title, as this is a very tough cookie to crack. For a new player cutting the game on for the first time, this game will be more than challenging. Luckily the game offers some pilot assistance that helps keep you on the track and helps a little bit with the turns as well, a feature I'm not ashamed to tell you I kept on as I played. Once you finally start getting the hang of things midway through the campaign, the game reminds you yet again of how bad of a racer you are, as even a pretty good wipeout racer will have a tough time in the last half of the campaign. The game's AI racers are just brutally efficient, giving very little to no room for any mistakes. Some races comes down to if you successfully hit the majority of the boost arrows and not slow down too much in the turns, a task that's not so easy to do on some tracks. They set the bar pretty high for completing this game. I couldn't do a review for this game without talking about the trophies. This game has been rated as one of the hardest games on the PlayStation 3 to platinum from a couple different major trophy sites, and I can speak from first-hand experience attempting to try to obtain one trophy on here. There's a trophy called Beat Zico, which has you trying to beat a pretty insane lap time, and I spent an hour or two going around a 30-second track with no luck. If you want a hardcore trophy challenge, look no further. This game will test you. While most people got this game during Sony's We Are Sorry Welcome Back Suck Up period, if for some reason you missed your chance picking this title up at that point, it's still not a bad choice now for its single player gameplay. The online part of this game wasn't too active the few times I did attempt to go online. There would occasionally be a game or two available, but I wouldn't expect a very active community to still be around for a game that released four years ago. For those of you that picked up the new Sony Vita, there's also a new entry in the Wipeout series titled Wipeout 2048 that received pretty decent reviews and offers a new experience which if you played the previous portable titles that this game was based around you may be looking for something new instead of just updated. The Wipeout HD bundle has a reasonable price tag, a lot of content to keep you busy and challenged, and overall is one of the better single player racing games available for the PS3 if you don't mind playing something that came out many years ago. Anyways this is Zero at ReviewZone HD and thanks for stopping by.